Welcome to our family. Today we are doing the personality reading for Kim Ji Won. This has been a long time request and I finally have got to it. We will be looking at her personality, her career, past, present, future and her love life, past, present, future. I will be putting timestamps down so in case you are just interested in one part of it, you can go jump there directly. Whoever is new here, please subscribe. Uh, this is the channel where we look at tarot for celebrities. And this channel is only for entertainment, so I hope you all take it like that. All right, so let's just dive deep into it. personality as a five of swords and the central influence again of the knight of swords so definitely the first thing because these two are sword cards definitely this woman is an intellectual she thinks a lot she operates from her mind now with the five of swords we have someone who needs to feel victorious but needs to feel uh, you know uh, superior she has a deep need a competitive edge in her she's someone who feels uh, you know that other people don't understand her she feels that uh, she feels naturally competitive with people around her and she can be on both the sides you know sometimes she feels victorious and sometimes she feels very defeated her own mind is always playing games with her you know she always needs to keep doing better and better to feel good the same thing with the knight of swords she rushes into things she might rush into arguments into fights which are not really hers okay she might before thinking out what she's supposed to do she might rush into it with uh, she's also intellectual she thinks a lot i can see a lot of thinking going on there's a lot of comparison going on in her mind and um, she might be difficult to you know she's not that um, what do i say soft nice you know like a teddy teddy bear she's not the kind of girlfriend you give a teddy bear she's the one kind of girlfriend you give you know maybe a piece of literature or something or you may, maybe take her to the museum i mean she needs her mind to be excited all the time without engaging her mind you will not make any impact on her in her past we see because of this reason she has been alone many times it's difficult for her to make friends uh, i'm just saying over here anyone who's a fan will let me know whether i'm right or wrong i really don't know her personality nor have i read much about her but she's also someone who has done so much of soul searching she's on the path to constantly improve herself and she feels different from others she feels that i do not fit in she cannot fit in into her environment very easily and she likes to be alone to preserve herself you know and i see she has worked a lot on herself she's constantly asking very deep searchful questions in her mind she's not just somebody who is you know talking about fun all the time or she lives life very seriously that is what i feel when i get when i see this card when what she identifies with you know i think uh, her early life was a little bit difficult and so she identifies with you know if you see wheel of fortune is change and hangman is you're stuck in the same place so she feels she has both these sides you know where she feels yes there is a circle of life but she particularly um or to say doesn't feel very lucky in the sense that um she feels um she feels she has to work hard now let me just see what she identifies with wheel of fortune now she feels stuck most of the time she's waiting for her life to change she was waiting for her luck to change she really uh, you know she feels that she's she's been in the same place forever 
and a reason for that is you know she definitely has some uh, deep block or deep belief which makes her feel that uh, you know either she doesn't deserve something or that she needs to constantly strive ahead this makes her very hard working okay because she constantly since she feels stuck she's constantly trying to get out of it but somehow she kind of gets stuck in the you know in the circle of life in the she feels stuck and she's moving around the same place i see someone you know who is very analytical and in her analysis gets stuck this is the kind of person like you know many times people tell me i'm an overthinker same thing over here there will be people who tell her she thinks too much or she's an overthinker and sometimes you get stuck in your analysis so much that you cannot execute you have lived your whole experience in the analysis itself so the need for executing goes away so i don't know whether it's the same kind of personality which i feel she is her fans will know her better but um, yeah is just a mindset you know she needs to you know break away from and her public image is very good she is a magician so she knows how to handle people so even though she feels very lonely inside she feels very misunderstood inside she is very diplomatic she has very good skills public skills she knows how to appear she knows how to look she must you know her fashion point must be like you know on card because she knows she has all these tools with her on how to handle the public so the public image has never been a problem and in private she is a very nurturing generous person so even though this is what she believes about herself when she is to other people she is nurturing she is soft and a very practical woman you know very practical she is not someone who talks about things in the air it has to be grounded it has to be workable it has to you know work out her greatest fear i got this card with the 3 of pentacles and this basically says about teamwork so she's not very comfortable in groups okay she is maybe she feels that she's very particular about things and so it's not easy for her to adjust she doesn't actually like working in a team so maybe for her projects would be really difficult you know um she likes working with one person at a time so whenever she has to deal with a lot of people or uh, you know she's not she she's worried about that her deep desires for love and for getting settled she wants to get married she wants to find that one person who understands her she doesn't want actually literally the whole world to love her or you know i don't know how she came into showbiz literally because most people in showbiz you know want attention from the whole world but she actually wants attention only from one single person she wants to settle down she wants to you know have a joyous life that is her deepest desire in a future we see the fool card so we see her going to take more risk in the future she is going to let go we see the stuck up energy in her which is there she is going to let go and try new things so we might see her in different kinds of series different kinds of work she is going to take risk which she's never taken before and she's going to like you know like say it doesn't matter where what happens i'm going to try it and this is a very good energy for her in the future because this is going to take her out of what she was stuck in the past so this is the personality of kim ji won let's look at her career past present future and see how that goes Okay, in her career, we got the Hermit card again, which again basically tells me that you know she has climbed up on her own, where whatever she has got, she is she feels deeply alone inside. She's not really uh, being supported, maybe by family, maybe she doesn't have backup. She maybe took this career when nobody really agreed with her. It could be any of that. We have the Temperance, you know, which again shows she has balanced out her career very well, and uh, you know she has. the divine grace on her so this career was meant for her she gets some you know she gets a lot of joy in her career and um, it helps her to be a uh, people she uh, you know you know she it helps her to be different people and explore parts of herself we also see somebody very rich and much older to her who supported her beginning of the career so this could be somebody who you know maybe 
uh, a producer or a agent who you know helped her get uh, into showbiz and he helped her out in her career he was a very strong person who got a balance in her life her present, we have the lovers, the knight of cups, and we have the seven of cups, all kinds of cups. So there's definitely, uh, either she's doing a romantic series, a very romantic series, and she's feeling the love because we have the lovers, the knight of cups, and the seven of cups means you have a lot of desires and you don't know what to do. So I think she may have many suitors who are interested in her through her career. But overall, I still feel, you know, somehow I just noticed the horse right now. <laughs> so I feel she's taking her time. She's choosing what she wants. All right. And um, she's totally in love with what she's doing right now. I would, This was not a love reading. This was a career reading. And I would say she's totally in love with what she's doing. And definitely, I think she's doing a very romantic series. And she might have a lot of projects also which she can choose from. And she loves all of it. There is a lot of love over there right now in her present. In her future, we have the Nine of Swords. We have the Nine of Cups. And we have the Judgment. So this shows that, yes, there will be a little bit bad time. And she'll be very anxious. Maybe when her next series is going to release, she's going to see a lot of anxiety. A lot of tension. A lot of, you know, again, negativity might come. She might feel very sad about it. But then she will triumph. You know, whatever negativity is initially going to come and she will triumph out of it and she'll come successful she will prove her worth to the world and she will get that success you know all these cups which she was looking at right here in the present she's going to get all of it in the future and she look at over here judgment she's going to find herself she's going to grow and she's going to you know um the feeling of self-worth is going to come here that she's achieved it so i think her future is like you know we see her coming out of this period and attaining something really beautiful let's look at a love life So in her past, we have the world, we have the high priestess, and we have the four of wands. She definitely was in a relationship which was a secret from the world. She had a past relationship and, uh, you know, uh, she was very satisfied with the relationship actually. But it was kept a secret and it, she may have come very close to getting married to the guy. I don't know whether she in, was engaged, you know, I think she was engaged or whatever because it was such a serious relationship but um, there is no sign that the relationship is broken this might be still continuing in the present because but in the present she has more people interested in her okay so there is a king of wands uh, there is an ace of wands and there is six of cups so definitely there are more people who are interested in her in the present so she might be already in a relationship but there are new people coming into her life because I think since the past was a secret, you know, it's not a very, um, she may want to come forth and make it revealed. And the only reason this might break is because of that. And there may be other people who give her what she actually wants, you know, which is, if you see her, what she desires, she desires to be married, she desires to be settled. And she will need a person who can give her that. So I think, yeah, there are new people coming in into her life at the present who are very interested in her. In the future, we have the Knight of Wands. We have the Knight of Wands, the Tower, and the Judgment. We have a Judgment card repeating again for her future. So with the Knight of Wands and the Tower, There is some definite trouble coming in her future in terms of relationships. This relationship, uh, you know, it not necessarily, a tower doesn't necessarily mean that it breaks. Tower necessarily doesn't mean, uh, it is definitely an external event, something you come to know or something has happened. 
maybe she comes to know something but with the knight of wands it's like you know you're in a very happy place you are uh, celebrating you're ready to get married you want to settle down and suddenly the tower happens and after that we have the judgment card so in this judgment i would say justice will be done she'll also find herself okay she'll be her inner self her inner fears her inner thing will come out and really um, she'll be able to explore who she is but the tower card necessarily doesn't mean this relationship is going to break it's just going to be a very bad time where you know either she, it, it might break the relationship might break but she will recover and she will find herself maybe you know it's also maybe the she may be the one who will walk out of it because she'll be like enough is enough The tower card is a card of transformation and when I see it next to this judgment card, I feel this is what? There's some deep change coming in her. Suddenly, because of some external event, she's going to change inside. And that change will, you know, create ripples in her life and change everything about her life. I wonder what that event is. Let me ask, when is this tower card coming? All right. Spirit, please show us when will this tower card happen? When is this going to happen in the future? somewhere end of this year reverse right so end of this year or beginning of next year end of 2023 and beginning of jan 20, 2024 between this time this is going to happen and her life is going to change uh this might also be the time when some series comes out so maybe uh even though it's come in her love life uh maybe her career is affecting her love life we won't know so until uh, we do the update at that time so maybe next year jan feb so i hope you all enjoyed this reading and if you all did give it a thumbs up and uh, subscribe to my channel bye bye